In today's tech tip video, we are going to discuss how to use the board library in Swood nesting. So I have my part here and I'm going to go ahead and choose my nesting software. So I'm going to go to tools, Swood cam, and then I'm going to choose nesting. So it asks me if I want to add the active documents to the nesting sources. Yes, I do. Um, if you didn't choose this, you would just right click on your source files and you would choose add source file and then you would need to activate these. So you'll notice I have all of my parts in here and if I minimize this you can see these are the parts for nesting. Um, each part has a material associated to it. So this is oak of 19 millimeters. Um, the dowel I'm not going to nest but the um, front materials here this is going to be white 19 millimeters. So I need to add these into my board library. So I need to add the sheet material and the sheet sizes into my board library in order for me to nest these parts. These will show up as red until there's actually a board in here to nest them on. So what I need to do is I need to add the boards and I'm going to open up my boards library in order to do this. So at the top of the menu here, you can see there's a section called boards library. I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up my library. So you can see I have a whole bunch of different materials in here, but none of these are being used in the current nest. So I need to add that. There's a few buttons in the top left hand corner. The first one is the option for new. So if I want to create a new sheet, there is the option of save, delete, and then the last one is extended properties of these boards. So another option I can choose is to right click on the boards and you have the option of new or new folder. If you do want to group a set of boards into a folder, you can also create new folder. Um, I'm going to choose new and just create my new board. So you can see at the top there is the name. So I like to name this exactly what the material is. So I'm going to start with that oak 19 millimeters. So I'll type that in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that and I'm also going to place that into the materials here. So the materials is where it's going to read directly from the material in Swood Design or the material you're using in SolidWorks. So this needs to match exactly what the material name is so that it can read the exact material information. If you have a description here, you can also fill that out. So this is actually going to be a four foot by eight foot sheet. So I'm going to type that in here so that I know uh, that, that that's what the sheet is. Um, this is set up in millimeters here. So I'm going to fill out what four by eight would be in millimeters and then 12, 19, and the thickness is 19 millimeters. So I'll type in 19 millimeters. And then there's also a quantity section here. So how many of these sheets do I actually have? This is important to fill out because if you keep zero in here, then the software is going to say, okay, you don't have any of those sheets, so we still can't use that board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill out how many sheets I have in stock in my shop, and you can also fill out cost in here. So if you are creating reports inside of SWOOD, uh, the cost is important to fill out because then you will have costing figures in your report. So again, we filled out the material already. There is a section here for your grain direction. So if you're horizontal or vertical grain direction, again, this is going to work with the grain direction that's placed on your part files. So if you know the grain direction of that sheet, you can fill that out here or choose none if you're not going to use that. There is the option of adding in laminates for these boards. So if you are using laminate, again, this is in SWOOD design, you can add that in. There's also a section here for supplier and supplier reference. So if you know where you're purchasing this sheet from, and then if they have a reference code, you can also fill that information out here. So again, this is great information for your reports. And then the last section here is a nesting section. So this is going to help with your nest. So the first section here is offset. This is going to be the offset from the sides or the edges of the board. So if you have a sheet that's maybe not the straightest or not the cleanest on the edges. It's just been ripped across with the saw. We can choose an offset here. 
and that allows us to offset from the edge of the sheet. So if I choose 10 millimeters, every single cut that I make is going to be 10 millimeters from the edge of the sheet. You'll also notice that there's a section here that's called corner. This is where uh, my nest is going to start. So do I want my nest to start in the bottom left, bottom right, top left, or top right of the sheet? So I'm going to just keep this as bottom left. We also have a direction. So do I want this in the X or Y direction of the sheet? So do I want to start nesting in the bottom left-hand corner and move in the X direction of that sheet? Or do I want to move in the Y direction? So we can fill that out. There's also a default priority number. And basically what that means is if we have any leftover sheets that we want to use before we use a full sheet, uh, we can give those priority versus um, using a full sheet. So the priority would be two for a full sheet versus one for the leftover sheet. And the last section here is it says not allowed machine. So this is basically a section where we can specify machines that we don't want to cut this on. So if you're programming this in SWID CAM and you don't want to cut a specific material on a specific machine, we can actually fill that out here and list the actual machines in here. So there's a little button on the right hand side here and we can go through and we can choose the machines that we don't want to cut this on. Once we have all of the information filled out for our material, we're going to go ahead and choose the green check mark. So this is going to say, do you want to save your boards library? Yes, I do. And you can see that inside my parts for nesting, I've now got multiple different parts here that we're using the Oak 19 material and they're now black instead of red. And you can also see if I use a little drop down beside boards, Oak 19 is listed in here because it knows that these parts were using Oak 19 and therefore they now have material in here to nest. So the other material that I want to add is that white 19. So I'm going to go ahead and do the exact same process. So I need to go into my boards library if I choose boards library here. And then again, I'm going to go to do new. And I'm going to fill this out for white 19 millimeters. And again, make sure that this matches the material. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste that into the material section here. So again, any descriptions, reference, again, I'm going to use the exact same size for this material. And then I'm going to choose the 19 millimeters as my thickness again. So make sure that we add a quantity in here. So maybe this one's 20 boards. And again, if you have a cost, whatever you're looking at there. So everything looks good for this material as well. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the OK button. I want to save my boards library. And now you can see I have both oak and white 19 millimeters in here. And all of my parts are now listed. So again, I'm not nesting the dowels. So those aren't going to be selected, but the rest of them are in here. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to press the rebuild button. And that will allow me to nest my parts on those sheets. There are a whole bunch of different nesting parameters and we'll go over those in another video.